Hello and welcome to the Aerospike demo. What we're going to be showing you today is how Aerospike can get to things like a million TPS on a single node. Now in order to do this we've set up an environment here with multiple nodes and, and multiple clients. Uh, on the top side you can see several machines. Uh, these are named Able on the top left, uh, Baker and Dog at the top. Uh, and these are going to be acting as the Aerospike nodes, or the database nodes. On the bottom, there are four machines that are going to act as our clients. So these are going to be machines that are going to be sending traffic to the database itself. I can control these from the boxes at the bottom. So to start with, let's start uh, one of the nodes on ABLE. And I'll go ahead and uh, issue in a command, uh, etsy init.d Aerospike start. And this starts the Aerospike daemon on this one node. Uh, so this is one we're going to be testing on. Now I can bring up the Aerospike AMC or the management console. And to do this, I simply have to give it the name of the machine that uh, I've started, uh, in this case, Able. And I'll connect uh, out to it. And it gives me some uh, information on the, the nature of the cluster, how much disk and RAM is being used right now. I've got a single node with two node spaces, uh, namespaces. And then there's no traffic going through the system because uh, I'm not doing anything to it right now. And there are some extra interfaces at the bottom to help you deal with the nodes and namespaces. Uh, at the top, you could log into the system. I've already logged into the system here right now. And this allows you to control different aspects of the interface. Uh, so let's go ahead now and try applying some traffic against the system. So let me go back to the dashboard. And on one of these machines, I need to load data into the database. So I've written a, a little script here. And this will preload a million records into this database. Uh, and for a lot of systems, loading a million records into the database might take some amount of time. Uh, but for our database, you'll see it won't take very long at all. So it's starting to load. And in just a few seconds, we're done. So it just took a few seconds to load that million records into the database. Now, the next thing I need to do is uh, apply a, uh, a lot of traffic against this. I'm going to be doing a combination of reads and writes. And so I have another script to do this, and I'm going to run these on multiple machines. Uh, when I start up this one script on the first machine, you can see the read levels have already draw, uh, jumped up to about a quarter of a million transactions per second, and the write level has gone to about uh, 10,000. And then I can start this now on the other machines. So I'll start this on the second one. And we should see an increase right now to about half a million transac transactions per second in read and about 20,000 in write. Now I'll start up the third one. And again, we'll go ahead and get to the point where we're uh, now at about 80, 800,000 transactions per second. And then the final one will take us uh, up to about a million reads per second and about 40,000 writes per second. So we're, we're dealing with a bit over a million transactions per second, all being done on a single node. Now this is a, a very Im impressive number because most of our customers don't operate at anywhere near this level. We're looking at about 100,000 for typical ones. But if you need to scale up from a single node to multiple nodes, well, how can you do that? And Aerospike makes it as easy as possible to automatically scale up. So to show you an example of how this could occur, we have some additional nodes that we can add into the system, and we're going to do so right here. Uh, from the same interface that I had, I can now take a look at uh, the different machines on here. Uh, and I might want to add uh, an additional node. So I'm going to go down into the web interface. I'm going to click on the plus sign. And I'm going to add uh, connectivity to another node, and I'll give it an IP address. Now this will add the node to the list, but it will not start the node yet. It simply makes it available. And I'll do that also for the third machine. So with this, we now have three nodes that are ready for use, although only one of them is active. And now I'm going to start one of them. So I'll go ahead and start this one. And I need to give it the password uh, for this node. Uh, we want to have security in here, of course. And in just a second, you'll see that this node will have started and how the system automatically responds. So when I, I've started all of these nodes, the system will automatically begin to realize that there are additional nodes that are trying to join into the cluster. And they're going to, to respond in such a way that after you know, just a, a, a brief second of uh, slowdown, 
uh, the nodes have now come in and now the load that previously was at about 250,000 transactions per second for a single node, they're roughly at about 80,000 trans transactions per second for, uh, for each of the three nodes. Uh, so it's the same overall amount of traffic, it's now being distributed amongst three different nodes uh, as opposed to just being on a single one. Now there are some real world situations that can happen uh, and in a, uh, in a distributed database obviously it is possible for you to lose a single node. So Aerospike has uh, set up the database so that it will automatically handle these situations where you might lose uh, some hardware. So let's take a look at that. Now in order to do this what I have to do is first of all I'll uh, take a look at the process on one of the, the server nodes. Uh, so I'll take a look at the first one that I started here called Able and I'm going to take a look for the actual uh, process ID and instead of gracefully shutting it down I'm just going to kill it really hard. I'm going to use uh, kill minus nine with the process ID and that will just stop the the process in its tracks. Now how does the cluster respond. Well again there's a, a slight a slowdown for a second and then the other nodes in the cluster will realize that there's a missing node and it will take on the, the slack. It, it will uh, take on additional nodes in uh, the cluster for those nodes. Uh, you can see a, a, an alert in the upper right hand side as well. Uh, there's uh, obviously a red sign here there telling you that that one node is not active. So the system has automatically responded. It's now going through migration, meaning that when that one node crashed, uh, some of the data will now only have a single copy, and we want to rebalance. So the system is automatically rebalancing to make two copies. Now if I turn on the node again, so I just go ahead and do the same thing we did before, the system will uh, again realize that there is another node uh, trying to join in, and it will take a corrective action to say, okay, now instead of two nodes in the cluster, there are now three. Let's go ahead and adjust to this. And it's automatically done so very quickly. So we're again, you know, right up at about 240, 250,000 transactions per second uh, in the system overall. Now using a combination of these methods, you can take down a node, even upgrade it, put it back onto the cluster, and when you've done so for all of the nodes, you have upgraded your entire cluster. So Aerospike has been made to handle all these sorts of real-world situations. Thank you.